our good friend Scott Keith. Yeah. You remember Scott, the cyclist? Of course. Yeah. The you know the cyclist, the mountain climber, the yeah the beer the beer drinker, the one and only Scott, my good friend. You met him. Good dude. Yep. He is totally a big fan of of the Parks Counter Gurus and especially the Counter Show. He enjoys the podcast and the videos, but he's always looking for tidbits of information to like dribble our way to hint hint that we maybe may need to talk about something. But here's the odd thing about this: he brings us to our attention. However, um, we've been talking about this for a long time, and that is battery technology. I, hate to say I told you so. Yep. Like battery, what a year and a half technology. at least. Oh, at least a year and a half, two years, yeah. And um, this is actually more of a stock find, um, in my opinion. Um, if, if I I'm, it, was going to go that way with it, too. Yes. Yeah. If you guys are smart, you will start looking into battery technology companies um, and going – and battery comp the industry is changing right before our eyes and they they preface this article or and they titled it this way it says the forever battery that promises to change the ev industry now what do you make of that keith do you think well that it is actually a forever battery yeah I don't so it's yeah. click it's clickbait right right I mean, absolutely you know like it's it's it never ceases to amaze me how the stuff that people like you just you just can't help themselves they just got to click on it you know mm -hmm. and so uh this is no different but um but there's there's truth in this um absolutely so, you know no like it is absolutely scott it is worth well we're talking about it it's worth talking about uh, and thank just, you scott for bringing this up yeah to our i just i just the guy that titled it like the guy that wrote it is you know yeah he's yes. clearly trying to get clicks. sure but no less no less significant um he's trying to coin a term called the forever battery to make i guess to make it a buzzword there it's solid state it's solid it's state next battery gen and it's, battery technology that's right and quantumscape is the company behind this particular um version of it and it is a solid state battery and keith and i have told you guys over and over again that the answer to this problem is is getting more out of it with less volatility yeah as well as the long the long term cost effectiveness of that and i think that what's nice about this piece of information what quantumscape how they how they are getting this message across is is that the, they're telling you right now, first gen batteries. What you're seeing out there, you know, on the road right now, the Teslas with the lithium, um, the solution style batteries. Um, you know, you're not going to get the life out of those that you will out of a solid state battery with the changes that they are making to these well, things. Yeah, but and, and there here's why, right? Like, so mm -hmm. wh uh, why, right? Like, so people go, well, why? Why is so solid state better? So for, first of all, boys and girls. Lit lithium battery technology has been around for decades ever, ever this is not like new to evs because you know we started using it in evs 12 years ago or whenever it was right mm -hmm. um i mean i i was first introduced to them in model rc airplanes so we we used to have you know glow fuel or you know gas powered you know some sort of liquid fuel powered planes and then we got into rechargeable like nickel metal, but the problem with those were they were very heavy, so it had to be a big plane to be able to support that. The sure. light stuff you couldn't couldn't lift it. Mm -hmm. Well, then lithium comes out, well, or at least it comes out in the RC industry, and you know it's it's lightweight. You can fast charge them, uh, pretty good, pretty good current, pretty good flow rate. You know they can take a pretty good, you know they, it's it's it, it was a decent application, right? As right. they say. Mm -hmm. The problem with lithium, because it's a liquid base, which can turn into gas, is it's very unstable. It doesn't like to sit. If it goes uh, six months without being charged, it can you can basically puff out. The batteries get they bulge. They get you know right. they go bad. And so we're at our limit with that technology. It's kind of like we've been getting fifty miles to the gallon out of internal combustion engines for forty years now. Mm -hmm. It's nothing new. Like the fact that somebody can get 45 MPG 
this year on a car mm-hmm. is right. nothing new, right? Right. So, um, same with lithium batteries. We're kind of at our limit to how far we can push those. They're going to expire. They're they're going to go bad. You got to be prepared to replace those, which could be expensive. Solid state's much more stable, much more stable. Absolutely. Lightweight. And you can flat stack these things a lot easier than you can um, the current solid state batteries. Outside of what the GM Ultium platform is, which is basically a skateboard platform, which is everybody is going to, their their battery pat- platform is a lot more unique than than even the said um, Tesla uh, battery platform that they have. And, of course, Honda has adopted that in one of their future electric right. vehicles, um, the GM mm-hmm. Ultium platform. So. Which, which, by the way, will we? If you are interested in some information about Honda's EVs, uh, go check out that Sony Honda EV um, video that we just shot recently over at PartsCountyGuru.com, and click on the YouTube icon there, and you can get right to it. Or just go to YouTube.com forward slash PartsCountyGuru and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. Uh, we appreciate that. That helps support our show and keeps us doing what we're doing right now. But um, at the end of the day, Keith. Um, we we continue to beat that drum that the battery technology is continuously changing, and if I'm a st- if I'm someone that that is you know wants to invest into some some companies, um, I would be looking at this the battery one. technology companies right. This is one of them right now. Right, they're here. on the this New is, York Stock Exchange. Yep. Uh, their ticker code is QS, which stands for I'm sure Quantum Scape. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean so. One of the factors in solid state has been price. It's been mm-hmm. um, very expensive to adopt this technology. Right. Richard Dyson, that that vacuum guy, right, that everybody knows. We we talked about this over a year ago that he was going to make a car and they were going to go solid state, but he pulled out because it was too expensive. So right. companies like this that are getting into cost reduction in manufacturing of those solid state batteries, that's going to be the game changer. Absolutely, it is. And here's the other thing: the life, the the, the lifespan of a solid state battery is much greater than a um, liquefied uh, lithium battery. Yeah, or not solution forever style. though. Not, not forever. forever. It's not a forever battery. But I think the goal here, you know, a lot of people out there are not trading their vehicles every four or five years, like has been kind of the norm. You know, I personally hang on to vehicles ten years, put put a hundred to two hundred thousand miles on them, um, and they are saying QuantumScape is saying that their battery technology will get you to that that two three hundred thousand um, mile range overall over the lifespan of a vehicle. And I think that that's you kind of have to take it for what it's worth when they say forever. It might be forever as you're the owner of it. So mm-hmm. as long as you're owning it. You'll probably never have to replace that battery, but eventually it, it will have to be replaced. So there you go. And the overall cost, that drives the overall cost down of maintenance for the vehicle. So that's the other thing that they're talking about, cost reduction. Um, not only from the manufacturing standpoint, but um, also the long run um, overall uh, cost to maintain your vehicle. Pretty <laughs> cool stuff. So make sure you guys get over to quantumscape.com. Uh, uh, go to the, uh, the 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 New York Stock Exchange and go check out QS. Go ahead and uh, go buy you some, man. I'm sure that uh, QuantumScape would love to have you over there on their team. QuantumScape, hey man, you know, reach out to us. We'll sponsor us one day, will you? Thank you. <laughs>